Moving forward to the Holiday Bowl, we have Louisville, a seven-point favorite against USC. And this game carries an over-under of 58.5 points. Kicks off Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern on Fox from Petco Park in San Diego, home of the Padres. Now, as is the case with all these games that I am covering on this slate today, one team has a lot to go over. USC, of course. You, uh, Caleb Williams, he's out. Malachi Nelson hit the portal. So it's going to be Miller Moss, and he's uh, he's experienced. I think he's fully capable, high completion percentage kind of kid, low turnover-worthy throws. So he may be able to conduct this offense pretty well. But a few other starters, including their star safety, Kalen Bullock, and starting corner, Damani Jackson, they're both out. Bullock's headed to the NFL. Jackson's in the portal. Of course, they had turnover with their defensive coordinator, which is good. Uh, Alex Grinch, certainly addition by subtraction. Uh, to Anson Lynn, is, he's inbound, and actually he's been helping – with bowl prep, which is interesting. I'm not sure if he actually coaches on the sidelines or in the booth uh, on the, in this game, but he has been helping with prep. Now, you can say there will be a defensive improvement for USC, and to be honest, it's not that hard to do. And with a new voice inbound, yeah, they may improve, but they still don't have the personnel to be a really good defense. And, you know, we'll see about next year, but that is the worry that you can have the scheme in place, but if you don't have the dudes, they're not going to get a lot of stops. USC did lose five of their last six games down the stretch. They only outlasted Cal 50-49 to down the stretch. So we're talking a, a brutal end to a team that just lost all their legs, all their momentum, and, and all their players as well. Uh, Louisville, they have a couple of major absences on offense. Jamari Thrash, Jawar Jordan, their top two playmakers on offense. They will not play in this game. Uh, they're both pretty impactful. One, I think, a little bit more so than the other. I think the absence of Thrash is a bigger deal. Uh, this line did sit at USC plus seven and a half for a while, but now it's moved down to seven. And then we're uh, this late into the cycle here. I don't think that that's nothing. Uh, that's definitely worth paying attention to. Although the line did have opt outs baked into it, it hasn't quite moved like I kind of thought it might have. It, you know, Louisville opened up at six and a half. And when Caleb Williams went out, I expected to see eight, nine, maybe. And, and that didn't happen. It, so we're sitting at seven now, flat seven. It's even come back down. I've seen. Sharp sides are, are liking USC with seven in the hook there. Um, if you have player props available in your state, I know it's not available everywhere, but if you do have those, Jack Plummer's passing touchdowns is sitting at one and a half right now. I did take over that, minus 130 at DraftKings Sportsbook. Although Thrash is out, which, you know, that's a lot of production going with them. I do think he matters. USC's defense, frankly, they still stink, and they're missing their top secondary options. I think Plummer's going to have plenty of success through the air. Now, I wouldn't forget about some of these young kids that are talented getting a run, like Zachary Branch coming into this game. This is an opportunity for them to show coaches, uh, especially on defense with a new coaching staff coming in, saying, hey, I can play. Uh, they didn't hit the portal. New guys coming in. I think you actually cycled out most of the guys that would not want to be here during this game. So do keep that in mind. There may be a little bit more motivation than perhaps the outside would suggest. But those USC departures that they've had this offseason between uh, high caliber recruits and young kids. And there's a lot of them hitting the portal. That doesn't really bode well for the program moving forward. But for this game, I don't think I really want to lay the full seven and go against the sharper move of, uh, of taking the seven and a half in this one. So if you're looking at it, uh, DraftKings also offers another prop, both teams to score 25 points. I do like that. I, I lean that way. If I'm taking any sort of action, especially with such a high total, 58 and a half, 59 points, you know, USC still has talent. Uh, Miller Moss, still, a, a, I think, a decent quarterback with plenty of good young weapons. And again, the, the young talent probably cares a little bit more than the old talent had at the end of the year. So I do like this to be a high-scoring affair. I, the only play I have on here is I'm taking the prop of both teams to score 25 points.